Hey guys, one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is just the kind of FPV platforms that you can do as well as uh, photo platforms and why there really is two different kinds. There's really a spatial th thing you can see when you have cameras that are sitting underneath your quad. You, you've, you've got a, a distance here that you have to clear. Uh, this is actually a retractable system that I have on here, so I reduce that by a little bit. But you always have a lot of quad that you have to slide into an area. So this is good if you've got a lot of open space. But what do you do when you have to get in close and you really want the kind of uh, quality of video that you get from a GoPro? Well, uh, you go to something like this. Now, um, this is, I got this from TBS, this is called their Discovery, and one of the things that is really unique about this um, frame is everything's really squished into a very narrow, thin, spread out quad, and I really like that. Now I'm going to be using a PixHawk here. Um, I've already got my PPM receiver, and one of the things that I just wanted to show you guys is the layout that I have here. Now, these motors may not be big enough. These are 920s, um, and I've got some fairly uh, good-sized props on here. I can't remember exactly what these are, but uh, uh, they're bigger than the ones on the Cheerson uh, CX-20. These were actually an upgrade on that, so that was uh, something that I did want to show you, too. And they're, they're, I can go a little bit bigger. Um, but the layout, you really need to get the thing laid out correctly. And the, the center of gravity on this thing is actually right here. Um, I've got quite a bit of weight that's um, going to be in here, but it's already balancing pretty darn good. The, the holes for the flight controller are right there, and I've got that PixHawk pretty much centered on now. Now one of the things that I did want to show you and what I'm a big fan of these four on ones are. This is pretty beefy. Uh, it's got uh, a pretty good sized plate on here but I'm having a feeling that there's a lot of heat that's going to be generated off of there. But one of the interesting things is I still need to put a power control board on there and I'm going to use the bottom side and just go ahead and mount that there. That should really uh, work out pretty well. Now, this is the uh, power module for the PixHawk, so I've got power going in here, and I've got power going to be coming out here feeding the board, uh, and I also need to get these over there. That's the only issue, is I wish these were a little longer. I don't want to put too much pressure on these, and I think um, they might actually be able to go around this way, but I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. But the, the, the thing that I also wanted to show you is just you know, you're trying to balance this thing as much as possible. Uh, right off of the bat and have some uh, forward thinking. These pow these Maytech power control boards, I really love them. They have um, all kinds of 5 volt and 12 volt and um, I really, really like them. They're very reliable. They're a little tough, a little tiny, but they work real good. Now the interesting thing about this quad and why I really like it is because you can really fit everything into a pretty narrow area. And as I started to put this together, I could see that I wanted my GPS pretty much as close to over that as possible, have it nice and high, but inevitably this whole thing is about what's going to go on the front here. And this has an FPV spot right here for a little TVL camera. And that's going to be the main video that you're going to look through. Now all the, all the electronics for that are going to sit up here. Um, also, the uh, receiver antennas coming through this little port up this way. But inevitably, what I want is to get the GoPro coming off the front on at least a two-axis gimbal. Now, one of the things about the, this gimbal that I have in it, this may not be the one to use. It's got really big canisters uh, surrounding the motors. Now, I'm not sure if that's for shielding or just looks, but there's a lot of weight here that's coming off. And this will be actually the plate will come off. Uh, the board will come off and actually get placed somewhere either underneath or on top or maybe up in here uh, and it will inevitably sit, let me move the quad it'll inevitably sit there we go something like this 
sorry, I, I wasn't watching my hands if that video kind of moved away for a minute, my apologies. But basically you have that out in front and it clears it, but this this plate will have to come off, this will have to be uh, reattached somehow and it can't be upside down so it's got to be this way. So I've got um, to do some modifying and I think I've got some two millimeter carbon fiber plate and I think that'll probably be what I'll be using to get that remounted but this inevitably may not be it but I wanted to kind of show you the reason why these are so cool and why these work so good is you can really slide them into tree canopies and all that kind of thing and if you don't need the GPS always get one that can come down like that and that makes it even slicker and this actually locks down into place even farther down so that's just the first video you know I also consider aerial angles FPV and this is the Rodeo 150 now this is my knockoff on that and it's um, it's a nice little flyer this has a uh, um, an SP Racing F3 10 DOF so there's a lot of modifications I'm going to be doing to that uh, this is a little um, run cam swift so there'll be some fun with the FPV some goggles and also um, getting this up and running doing the modifications with the 2x's gimbal and also getting the retracts and everything dialed in uh, and getting the, the GoPro mounted into this and we'll be getting into that and have a whole video on what's going on over here. This is, a, as you probably recognize, this is a Cheerson CX-20 with an APM 2.5.2. And this is the brand new Pixhawk 2.4.8. Uh, and so I'm excited to get this into Mission Planner and start actually using it. But it's actually going to have a dual role uh, of being just a nice little... Um, camera platform that I know is reliable and will come home with all my camera gear but also have some fun with autonomous missions the other thing I want to do is dual video in a swarm mode on mission planner which means I'll have control over both of these two models at the same time and uh, mission planner will set them off on a uh, follow me follow you video mission that'll be interesting where I'll have them videoing each other as they go and that'll be really cool to see so that'll be down the road because that's a lot of work for me to understand how that goes but um, as as I said this is aerial angles and these are just some of the examples of some of the uh, photo platforms that I'm building to do all the fun stuff enjoy <laughs>